Um, so I, it's like Anna's probably the character who suffers the most as a result of circumstances outside of her control. Like she never has an easy ride, does she? How do you no. manage to maintain such a sense of autonomy and like bravery in her through all that strife? Well, when I first read the script before my my audition, and I first read Anna's character, I I just fell in love with her really, and I thought she was incredibly emotionally mature and strong and um, just a, such a good person, but doesn't suffer fools gladly either, and strong-minded, not easily swayed, and I really wanted to bring out her strength. Um, and I think to be such a good person, you have to be a strong person as well. So I think I've just tried to sort of carry that through really and carry through that that's because of the person she is. That's why she's managed to come through what she's come through. And although she's absolutely changed by many things that have happened to her, she's, she's still tried her hardest to keep to keep moving forward and to keep a positivity and to, to try and see the best in people. Sure. Um, how do you think her relationship with Bates has shaped the plot line for Anna? Because, you know, they've been together since pretty early on, really, and like lots of the struggles they've faced have been together. So how do you think it would have been different, I guess, if Anna <coughs> had been single? Oh, I don't know. She'd probably have been fine. Um, <laughs> um, I don't know, you know, I mean, that's what, what Julian wrote, and that, that's what I've lo would love to play, actually. I think yeah. Anna and Bates' relationship is what's made them pop a popular pair, yeah. really, and yeah. the love they have for each other and the, the struggles they've been through together and the, um, you know, the care and respect they have for each other as well. So I wouldn't have wanted it any other way. No. If you could take one aspect from down to life, what would it be? Take it home with you. I mean, if, anyth if any. It's all just better left <laughs> in the past. But I really don't know. I, I really prefer being here now, well, you know. Yeah. I think especially for women, it, there, were, there weren't a lot of opportunities and choices no, back then. So I, it's, it's actually made me think I'm, I'm very happy living in a free society as, as a modern woman and, and having the freedom to follow my dreams and ambitions, yeah, sure. you know. Do you see any parallels with, like, the issues that we're facing today with issues that are being faced in Downton. I mean, of course, some of them are just universal issues, but in terms of like sociological change and that kind of thing. Yeah, absolutely. There's a connection with with so many issues that issues that we um, go through today. I mean, Downton ultimately is about relationships, really. So that is a is a timeless theme, you know. But you know, social issues as well yeah. of the time, and um, I mean, you know, because obviously in, in, in the UK and in the Western world where going through different issues than people are in other parts of the world. So um, some of the issues in Downton are actually more connected with what's going on in different parts of the world in some ways, you know. Um, so it's absolutely still relevant, I think, so much of it. Yeah. At what point did you realise that Downton was going to take off in the way that it has? Was it when you've got that first script? Or has it just been a gradual thing? It's been a gradual thing, really. It's been, it's been a very quick progression but it has been a progressive thing I think you know it went down extremely well in the UK when it first aired and then it aired in the States and it's very difficult for a show to catch on in the States especially yeah, an English love it show on a station like PBS yeah. um, which isn't a big um, you know network a, a huge network and um, so that was quite a surprise that it took off so well in the States and that was absolutely you know the beginning of it becoming this worldwide success so it's sort of there was that and then we heard that it had been sold to this country and that country and so many territories across the world and then it was it was all it was a progression really but it, it, you know every sort of bit of news that we got was just lovely and wonderful and yeah, yeah it was just great so yeah. we were like brilliant can and it get any better oh it just got better <laughs> you know it's, it's been amazing it's amazing have there been any um well, you've had some fairly challenging storylines, I guess. Which do you think you found the most challenging emotionally to act? Um, well, it, it would have been Anna's attack, the, yeah. the rape of Anna, absolutely the most challenging. Um, because of many reasons, because of the big responsibility of it. Um, and it was quite controversial in the press at the time as well. Yeah, though that, that's not something I think about. That's not, that's not something that sort of enters my head when I'm doing my scenes or playing my role. Um, that's something that's sort of out of my control. So 
there's no point thinking about it. Um, but yeah, I mean, absolutely, it was an incredibly sensitive subject matter to um, to portray, and and it was a very complex set of emotions as well, and, and for her and Bates, and and how their story progressed from there, and how it changed their relationship, and how it changed her as a person, and how she felt about herself and the shame she felt, and even though you know we all see that as totally you know um, you know she, she shouldn't have felt shame at all but she no, actually did and that's did. an emotion yeah. that and that I guess some that's part of the sign of the and, times as well. exactly and very much for the, for the from the time period yeah. and she felt she was spoiled and and that was um, yeah it was a, it was a very emotive a very emotive subject matter a very emotive story to yeah. to tackle and um, yeah, and it's definitely that that will stay with me. Yeah. Um, moving on to one of Anna's other relationships, her relationship with Mary. What is it about that relationship that you th that you think makes it so special? Well, it's a great friendship. Ultimately, they yes, they're master and servants yes. in the most crass terms, but <laughs> um, but they're great friends, and there's a great respect for each other, and a, and, um, a great care, and that's what shines through. I think. With them, yeah. If you had to play any other character, male or female, who would it be? Mr. Molesley. Yeah, he's Why? my favourite. Just because he's so like steady. Yeah. Well, apart from Mr. Bates, of course. Of course. That goes without saying. Yes. But uh, yeah, Mr. Molesley, because he's just you know, tragic comic. Yes, no, he is brilliant. Really tragic, Kevin plays him brilliantly. <laughs> he does. I know. Um, he's just a brilliant character. I love watching Molesley. Yeah. yeah. Great. Well, I think we're out of time. Thank, you. thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey! hey.